there are six locations where people may have been exposed. So take a look at your screen right now to see those locations. The list includes Jefferson Health Hospital, the Multicultural Education Station Daycare, CHOPS ER, St. Christopher's Hospital for Children ER, an inpatient unit as well, and Nazareth Hospital ER. So the two possible cases of measles stem from an infected person who spent time at that daycare in violation of quarantine orders. A sign outside of the Multicultural Education Station daycare says several children have shown symptoms. And unfortunately, we had two children at that daycare who did get measles, were hospitalized. Fortunately, one of those children has been discharged. If people are not immune, including, as I said, infants, 90% of people who are not immune who get exposed to measles will get measles. So it's, it's extremely contagious, and that's why we take this so seriously. So here is how you transmit it. Measles is a virus that can pass from person to person, either through direct contact or through the air. Symptoms include fever, rash, runny nose, cough, loss of appetite. And pink eye is a real marker of measles as well. The health department says people are protected from the virus if they've already had it. And of course, if they got vaccinated for it. So if you were inside any of the buildings that we told you about and think you've been infected, call your health care provider immediately. Make sure that you tell them up front that you have been exposed to measles. Mm -hmm. Erin, back Absolutely. to you. Absolutely. Good advice, Lucy. Yeah. Yep. All right, Lucy, thank you.